Guys, welcome to a skate shop. As you can see, there's a wall full of boards, a thing full of sunglasses, a human behind the counter, clothing, the name, lots of shoes. It's a beautiful place to be in one of my favorite locations in existence. Not this specific one, even though this, this is one of my favorites. So I take it back already. But skate shops are one of my favorite places to be at. And today we are picking out a cruiser board. They're perfect cruiser board and it's not for me it's actually for my friend casey beckler why because i'm an idiot i left his cruiser board at a skate park yesterday after he let me borrow it out of the kindness of his heart so i'm gonna surprise him with a brand new setup so with the cruiser board casey has a skinnier board I'm casey. casey had a skinnier board so we're picking out the equipment right now and i've actually already decided we had to go with smaller trucks and these were the only trucks they had in size seven. I, yeah, but you're making this sound like you did all this and you did it. John. <laughs> Who did? <laughs> I picked pretty much everything out for you and you just kind of went, yeah. I'm taking the credit. I think that's right. I was basically saying like, yeah, yeah, we should get this, right? And then he'd be like, no, this. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. It was pretty much that the whole entire time. Right. So what else did we decide? We decided, I guess the big OJs, cause that's what he had. I personally go with the smaller ones because I like to have loosey goosey trucks. But so we went with double riser pads to, you know, make sure he doesn't get wheel bite. What are these things? Bearings. Most people will call them skate jump bearings, but they're shake jump. That's an H. <laughs> Is that a I thing people actually say? I swear, they, <laughs> it, probably nine times out of ten, it's skate jump. I love snake hunt. That's that's a no. So the reason we got longer hardware is because the riser pads are a little longer. So since they go through here here and the board, you need these to be longer. There's gonna be a lot of penis jokes about what I'm doing with my hands. Aren't they normally on your channel anyway? Yeah, I love penis jokes. Dear Casey. You're dumb. Sorry, I lost your board. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this and last night's kiss will make up for it. Subscribe, John Hill. Not Casey's dumb. Johnson. On the way out, a poster of my friends. Brian? Hey, dude. Hey, are you still at the shred quarters? I just left, actually. Oh, shh. Okay, okay. Is anyone here? No, no one's there, but you can, you have to, like, drop something off. Yeah. Just leave it in front of the door to the distribution side. Okay, perfect. And you'll be good to go. All right, awesome. Thank you. Thanks, man. Yep. Bye-bye. Hey! That's a familiar poster. Quick message about the equipment that you just saw me buy at the skate shop. It ended up being around $135 with everything except for the skateboard deck itself, which is also usually another $50. So the price of a cruiser board is typically the same as a skateboard. And when deciding that, there's a lot more leniency to buying a cruiser board because you're not trying to do tricks with it. Usually you're trying to just cruise. So that's why you have bigger wheels so that it can just roll smoothly. If you want to see the instructions on how to buy a normal skateboard, I will put Andy Schrock's video in the description below below where he talks about how to pick your first skateboard if it is your first skateboard. When you go into a skate shop, most likely the person working will know exactly what to get you and what you will need. So don't be afraid to ask and don't be afraid to not know. They're used to that. They're used to new customers more often than customers who know what they're talking about. So don't be nervous going to a skate shop and just ask away, ask all the questions. And also click the video below if you wanna check out more detail about picking your first skateboard because it's very closely related to picking a cruiser board. I'll also link a video I made about cruiser boards that go more in depth if you wanna check that out down below, baby. Hey guys, I'm actually at a Starbucks right now working away, but I did get a chance to go to Shred Quarters a little earlier and actually skateboard. So here's some of that footage. I'm gonna miss you the most. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow because I'm leaving Thursday. Thanks for knowing my schedule. What Jerk. I'm coming for you. Coming your way. You better, God, look how good the sky looks right now. I'm not looking at the camera. 
I'm being responsible, just holding the camera and assuming that you can see the sky the way that I can. Let me show you how much I hate my old address. I live right up this road, like literally a block, but it's a one way. Now let's see how long it takes me to get there going around, which is what I have to do every single time. Fast forward. Yeah. Okay, I feel very weird being one of those people who are like, this is my old place, let's go hang out with everyone. I'm not gonna go in there, but somebody did ask me to revisit my old place. So here it is. Believe it or not, this is a three-story building. Two people live here. The bottom one is just a lot of the bottom floor, and what I had was literally the entire second floor, the entire third floor, a balcony, and part of the first floor for half of what my rent is in California. That was the biggest shock of moving, being like, oh my god, I'm spending twice as much for one-third of the room. I have to catch the views before the sun goes all the way down. Right now it's perfect, and the clouds cleared. They parted for the sky for me to get these awesome views. But there was a question on Twitter somebody asked me that I wanted to address before I get to the arsiness. It was a question by Aaron Velez asking what makes you wake up every morning with the motivation to get things done every day and tell Sarah I said hello. There's plenty of things but at the end of the day it's the fact that I can do what I do thinking that I never could do it. So when I figured out a way to live a life closer to the one that I want to live, I realized that the harder that I worked and the more that I focused, the closer I would get to that life. And then eventually I got that life and I realized better versions of the life that I thought I would never have. And from there, it's just been a snowball effect. I also realized that on this earth, a lot of people won't get the opportunities that I get. And not just people in this country, but people all over the world won't get a lot of opportunities that a lot of you guys have, a lot that I have. And I feel like I need to take advantage of the fact that I can. At the end of the day, it's just our responsibility to be happy. That's all I should really strive for, but there is a part of me that can't really stop trying to build and see what I am capable of because I keep learning more and more that I have the capability to do more than I've been doing. I have to constantly remind myself that at any moment I can relax a little more. I can just chill. I can enjoy things more, but I am caught up right now in trying to grow and that's okay too. I think the idea is to focus on what makes you happy overall and try to make sure that you have more of that in your life as often as possible. The successes that I want are just on the horizon. They're right there. I can tell that the work will get to what I want it to get to. I'm already very satisfied and happy with what I have, but it is exciting to push forward and see what else I can do. How I long to leave you Leave you in my memory Memory it forgets all Oh, how you have harmed me. How could I forget you? Isn't it just incredible outside? It's so beautiful, but you know what's so much better than any of that? This place. Now, unfortunately, I've adopted some of the vegan ways recently, but this is the place that has the grilled cheese donut. And I did try it last time I was here, and it was delicious. But what's even better is somehow they have vegan options here. They have a vegan cheese. So a grilled cheese place has vegan options in Kentucky. But it is the case, so I still get to enjoy mm, Tom and cheese. This is not an ad. I just think it's delicious and a cool idea. And thanks again for watching, you beautiful, magnificent creatures. I appreciate all the love and support. And also an extra shout out to the people who have been supporting my professional model wheels and my professional model board. I've been getting tagged almost every day with someone who bought something and just received one of my pro equipments. And it blows my mind every single time, but going into Concrete Skate Shop earlier and seeing my boards on the wall, seeing my wheels in the cabinet and him saying that he's been selling them is like the craziest feeling. So for anyone who goes to the skate shop and buys it, for anyone who buys it online, so much love. I appreciate all of the support. It's crazy. It is like always unbelievable and being in Cincinnati, I literally just said Cincinnati on accident and that's what people call it here. But of course being in home base just reminds me of how cool it is because I'm in the shred quarters seeing all the new product which you might have seen by now. I'll also link, I'm linking everything down below so just keep watching the YouTube videos. I'll link down below the new release that Revive just had where they gave me another pro board and seeing that it's just crazy in person and it means the world to anyone and Revive for supporting me for, and also this is my last day in Cincinnati 
Cincinnati, Ohio for a while. I'm leaving right in the morning to go to New York City to hang out with Sarah Dietschy and a bunch of other people that I can't wait to spend time with. And there's a lot happening within the next month, but the videos, of course, will just be skating, fun, and just, I'll, sh I'll be showing you everything along the way. It's gonna be quite the adventure, but lots more adventures here and uh, lots of big announcements coming in the next two or three days. So just stay tuned and stay tuned for tomorrow's video, AKA every single weekday I upload a video. So stay tuned. Guys, take care. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.